we're doing a number of different studies. You know, I, I think although I, I am an epileptologist and I got into the TBI field through my interest in post-traumatic epilepsy, you know, over the years, I think my interest became more more broad into brain trauma in general. So one of the things that I've been involved with for quite a while is the um, BOOST study, which is it's an acronym for Brain Oxygen Optimization and Severe TBI. And this is something that we started working on, gosh, uh, over 15 years ago. Uh, and at the time, there was a novel technology for monitoring uh, the brain in people that had a severe TBI, and that meaning that you could monitor the the uh, partial pressure of oxygen in brain tissue. Uh, and, and that that technology was really FDA approved around 2000, and then it started becoming adopted in in uh, uh, ICUs and neurotrauma centers. You know, over the next several years after that, and one of the things that we were very concerned about is that, well, it, you know, this technology may or may not be adopted really without class one high quality evidence that it's effective. And I think that's been a problem actually with a lot of of uh, technology that we use in the ICU, for example, intracranial pressure monitoring, which has been used, you know, since the 1980s, uh, you know, was never really uh, tested in a rigorous randomized control trial. And as a consequence, there's a lot of equipoise and, and a lot of debate as to, you know, what what does intracranial pressure mean, how best to treat it, et cetera. And it's something that we still haven't settled uh, even, you know, 40 years later. So, so um, we decided back in you know about 15 years ago that we shouldn't let that the same thing happen for brain tissue oxygen monitoring. So, we designed and completed a phase two trial, which was the initial initial study, where we enrolled about 120 subjects, and the goal of that phase two trial was to demonstrate that if you monitor brain tissue oxygen, you can in fact reduce the 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 burden of brain tissue hypoxia and that, that actually was very successful so so that was that was very promising in fact there was a trend in that study not not statistically significant but there was a trend towards improved neurologic outcome in people that were being monitored with brain tissue oxygen that was very encouraging so as a consequence of that phase two study we then uh, proposed and got funded from from the nih uh for a, a phase three study, which is, is ongoing, right? It's been ongoing already for several years. The target there is to enroll over a thousand uh, patients with severe TBI. They were randomized to either standard monitoring, which meaning intracranial pressure monitoring or, or, or a treatment protocol based on standard monitoring alone versus the treatment protocol based on um, uh, based on, on monitoring both intracranial pressure and brain tissue oxygen. So that study is underway. Uh, we have uh, approximately 45 sites in the United States and in Canada that are enrolling patients in that study. We, we are uh, over a third of the way done. We've enrolled about 400, 490 subjects so far. I believe that's the number. Uh, and, you know, I think we, we can hope, right, that in addition to improving outcome, you may reduce post-traumatic epilepsy as well, but that's not the main goal of that study.